A strange, unsettling feeling has just come over this building. Loomis strikes me as the type of dude you'd hang out with, Saxton. And his opponent from Recluse, Wyoming, weighing in at 239 pounds, Dexter Loomis! There is absolute nothingness when you look into the eyes of Dexter Loomis. There are sinister plans at work in his head right now. It is impossible to presume the intentions of this human being. Mind games personified, made sentient. He wants to do an interview with Byron after the match. Oh, no, no, no thanks. Come on, jump in there, Dr. Phil. across the ring from. To Saxton's point, that's both because of his fists and because of the van he keeps parked and running outside of the arena. Not necessarily in that order. Loomis fends that off. Big time spine buster. Could lead to a big time win. Shotgun knee strike. The powerhouse Loomis on the wrong side of things there. To the sky. Leg drop from the top rope. Off into the pin. by Loomis. What a suplex. Rear chin lock, and now just rapid fire punches. So 
was so close. That could have been it. Just stomping every single part of his body. Fatal splash! You gotta be kidding me. There's two! Somehow, some way, he is still in this. This match is brutality starting to show on it. There's been plenty of action in this match, and the cost of that is really showing now. Jonathan Suplex! Raw power! It could be lots of it! Higher in the triangles, and it's in. Oh, this is terrible. This is bad. It's cinched in. I think we're just moments away from seeing a tap. There's still fight left in him. He doesn't want to go out like this. He breaks it. Wards off that offense from Loomis. Looking for a little bit of high risk here, it seems. Counters that. From the top, for the victory here. He gets the kick out after the one. Still gonna take a massive effort to keep him down. Trying to talk with the back of the neck here. Great reversal. Taking hold of Loomis here. Over the top and stabber. And that may keep Loomis down. Cover! Two! And that's all that she wrote. Here is your winner, the Dragon, Daniel Corgi. And that seemed like a pretty easy day at the office right there. That's why they call it light work, Cole. Barely even broke a sweat. Hang on, the NXT champion is company. We saw him invite Walter to come to NXT on social media, and apparently he made the trip over. It looks like Walter didn't make the trip alone. It's Imperium. The NXT champion is in big trouble here. I'd say so. He's outnumbered four to one. Wait a second. It's British Strong Style. And they're taking the fight to Imperium. This is now an even four on four fight. The NXT champion is going head to head with Walter. Was this a coordinated effort between the champion and British Strong Style? No idea, but it's working. Into the steel steps. You have to imagine this is only the beginning of the war between these two sides. This is NXT's version of the British invasion. And our champion is caught directly in the middle of it. Unfortunately, we're out of time, but stay tuned to WWE social media for updates on this developing situation. Now, right, here's your update. They're going to keep fighting until next week. It's a culture clash here on NXT between Imperium and the NXT Champion, who will be backed by three new friends, Pete Dunne, Tyler Bate, and Trent Seven. I'm not sure I would go so far as to call the NXT Champion and British Strong Style friends yet, Michael, but they were certainly a sight for sore eyes for the champ last week. Well, there should be plenty of sore after this eight-man tag tonight where the winning side earns home field advantage for the upcoming NXT Championship match. Oh, man! No, right. Oh, ouch! Nasty roundhouse kick. Walter struggling to defend himself. I didn't think I'd see the will of Walter be challenged like this. Clean tag for his partner. Punch connects. German 
suplex. Did that just happen? Able to parry that one. Vicious right for Escape just in time. Incredible impact. Uh-oh. Oh, God, that hurt. His shoulders are down. Great officiating as the ref noticed he was on the ropes. Gets tagged in. The leg right out from under. Yeah. Big elbow drop. Drops an elbow. Yeah. A face buster knee smash. That looks painful. There's not much room out there. Such a result. That was an example of boldness backfiring. Dropping the elbow. He's absorbed some damage already. Shotgun knee strike. Bartel escapes the attack. Four. Oh, that close line. Forcefully delivered. Marcel getting a determined look back in his eyes. Boom! These consecutive attacks have been really... Yeah, he's really being put to the test. Oh, what a chop! Like a frying pan. Oh, foot just stomping down! Under caught by surprise. Personified. 
From the top. Oh, and he doesn't connect. Oh, hilarious. Is it enough? The cover. I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole, his opponent included. Double underhook. Power point. Tag made. Fresh man in. Just like that, Trent finds a counter. Hooks in with the counter. And finds a counter. Boom! Oh, what a slap! Well drawn. It's effective. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the NXT Championship. for this match. No doubt about it, Cole. Expect these competitors to show us exactly why NXT is no longer just the future of the industry, but the present as well.
Well, the Austrian anomaly. And many would say the toughest competitor in all of Europe. Beyond Europe, Saxton, Walter's on his way to dominating the entire globe. Guys, how impressive is this massive human being? I agree wholeheartedly. This man held the NXT UK Championship, forget this, 870 days. That's two years and four months. Talk about dominance. Yeah, this is a man in Walter who raises the game of everyone around him as the rest of the Imperium can attest to. Utilizing his smothering grappling skills, devastating strikes, and a 300-pound frame to help him back it all up. Walter truly is a force. Introducing the challenger from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, Walter! And introducing the champion from Japan, weighing in at 178 pounds, he is the NXT champion, the Dragon. Defended all across the globe on sold out takeovers. This NXT title has a lot of prestige. Words collided last week and again just moments ago outside the arena, leaving the defending NXT champion and Walter alone to battle for NXT supremacy. After that parking lot dust up, you have to wonder if there are any more surprises in store for this championship match. Surprises or not, when the dust settles, only one of these two superstars will be able to stand tall over all of NXT. Walter denies the attack. Oh, that'll turn your skin red. The challenger's looking shaken. What a bionic elbow! Oh, wow! Lights out! Oh, referee caught in the crossfire. Oh, no, this could be really bad. Walter with good instincts there. Reverse pain for that mistake. 
<laughs> a bionic elbow. Taking this match off the mat now. Launching. superstar to watch in the weeks to come. That was a spectacular performance. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the NXT Championship. This arena is electric as we get ready for a much anticipated title defense. What a huge opportunity for these competitors to really cement their NXT legacy. First on the scene with the likes of Tyler Bate, who was the first ever United Kingdom champion, and Trent Seven to form British Strong Style. But he's now moved up on his own and to become one of the 
great young up and coming superstars in WWE today. Almost a, a sick, twisted pleasure that Dunn derives from the opportunity just to just to hear his opponent scream and wail in pain. As intense and as dangerous as they come. He Dunn enjoys winning as much as he enjoys inflicting pain upon his opponents. You don't have to like Pete Dunn, but he will demand that you remember his name. Introducing the challenger from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 205 pounds, the Bruiser weighs Pete Dunn. And introducing the champion from Japan, weighing in at 178 pounds, he is the end. The Dragon, Daniel Corti. It's time for our NXT Championship match, and the atmosphere is simply indescribable. It turns out British Strong Style's help wasn't free as Pete Dunne has cashed in his favor in exchange for an NXT Championship match. You have to love British Strong Style showing they've got brains to go with the brain. But can Pete Dunne finish the job? Oh, the old taste of pain. Good officiating there. Referee seeing him the ropes and breaking the count. He went right into that turnbuckle. Putting leg lariat in the corner. Beautiful. On oh, a human torture rack. Up and down. What a slam. Look out. Oh, a play drop. Into the pin attempt. Two. Breaks the count at two. He really thought that was it. The challenger eating up some damage. Amazing awareness by Dunn. That kick will stop you in your tracks. A oh, jumping stop to the gut. Right on the counter. <laughs> Running leg lariat in the corner. Beautiful. Catches the kick. Showing they've done their homework. Dropping the elbow. Oh, what a headbutt. Yeah. He turns it around. Uh -huh. Yeah, Pete down left. to the two count.
Not sure if you've heard, but there's a superstar shakeup approaching. How do you think that's going to turn out for me? Since you're a main eventer here on NXT, I'll leave that up to you. You can be protected from switching brands, or you can be eligible. It's your call. Anything else I should know? There's a stipulation saying that any champions who go to another brand will be forced to vacate their titles. That pretty much covers it. I think a potential change of scenery sounds good. Put me in the shakeup. All right. All superstars participating in the shakeup must compete this week so the other GMs can see them in action. I have heard Adam Pierce likes to scout singles matches, while Mandy Rose prefers to evaluate tag team competition. So basically, which GM do you want to cater to? Put me in a singles match so I can show Adam Pierce what I could do on SmackDown. Done. And if this is it, well, it's been interesting. It sure has. opportunity at the Performance Center, and the rest is history. They're on their feet for Johnny and his opponent from Cleveland, Ohio. Weighing in at 199 pounds, Johnny Gargano! What an ovation! Johnny Wrestling! Johnny Gargano that makes him as good as he is today. Unparalleled heart. Johnny Gargano has been through it all his career before arriving in WWE. And now that he's here, it's a dream come true. Johnny will not let his dream slip through his fingers. Johnny Gargano is that guy who's not going to complain. He's not going to cry over spilt milk. He's going to keep working hard, keep putting in the time to achieve his goals. Tonight, we've got a match that is sure to have a lot of eyes on it. Considering the superstar shakeup is right around the corner, you have to think William Regal, Adam Pierce, and Mandy Rose will all be watching tonight's action very closely. And not just the GM Saxon, the entire WWE Universe knows this could be the last time we see one of these marquee superstars on NXT. Gargano gets reversed. Running leg lariat in the corner. Beautiful. It. Oh my goodness! Cover, cover! Gets the shoulder up after one. Channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. Clearly waiting for that. Wow, gosh, belly. A swift rhythm of offense here from Johnny. Turning the 
tables. He's trying to bring the fight back in this one. Bionic elbow! One after another. He's looking a little off balance. Oh, bell clap from behind. Oh, are you kidding me? Back of his neck. Check this out, guys. Double underhook coming. Byron's gonna love this. The Doom Buster. He's got him down. Is this it? Oh. Only a one count before the kick out. He is certainly sending a message, getting his shoulder up before two. to its roster. We'll see how he fares here, but I think he has the chance to do big things. Thank you. 